choking, always smoking dope. Smoking if they getting over, got a bunch of coke because the kid the coldest. Ain't chain, I stay the same and maintain it. Safe to say the kid getting older. Forever gang, I'm never switching over. Made a lane and niggas can't get over. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's raining. Why is it still raining? All right, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? All right, um, what are we doing today? Oh, well, tomorrow I'm taking my car to drop it off at the Philly Auto Show. So I want to bring the car inside the shop and um, just do a bolt check. Just make sure everything's good. It, I don't see why it wouldn't be good, but it's good to just check over your stuff before doing long trips. It's not too far of a drive from here to Philly. It's about an hour. Um, the roads are going to be pretty good for the most part going there. It's just once you get into Pennsylvania, that's when it gets a little... Ugh. And then especially when you get into Philly, that's when it's like World War Three in that. Let me go get the car started. Uh, well, I got to take the bumper off first. I don't need to explain all that to you. Let's let's get it inside and uh, get it in the air so we can um, do some explaining. Comment down below how many turns you guys think it's gonna take me to do to get from over there to in here. <laughs> on the floor. Let's get it in the air. Y'all ready for this? This is all the answers to my car. Where should we start? I guess we'll start with the underglow. It's the easiest. Easiest to explain, easiest to go over. It's the newest mod. Let's get right into it. Get my handy dandy light. Nice. Now, this is the back. Um, this isn't supposed to be up here. This is supposed to be back there. But it worked out better because I could put the controller into the trunk and kind of keep it out of the engine bay or in the front of the car or any place that I don't want it to be. So. Pretty much all these zip ties have self tappers screwed through them and then it's self tapped to the car and then you just tighten the zip tie. So that's the front. Yeah, we run it along the, the frame rail. Um, Cause uh, that's much of a frame rail left. So yeah. Um, it's tucked up there pretty nicely. The only part where it gets sketchy for me is, uh, yeah, right there. Um, it's pretty in line with, um, the frame rail. So hopefully it's nothing too serious there. The last two are back here along the tub. So that's that. 
I guess we'll do the wheel that just doesn't droop. Cause this is like a blessing and a curse because anytime I want to take that wheel off, I literally have to drop the whole suspension from inside the car. Actually, we'll start with my camber arm. That's obviously how I'm getting all of my tilt. Y'all are gonna think I'm nuts. So here we have an Accord TSX camber arm. Um, this one is not shortened, but it does have the nuts taking out of it. So this is about an inch shortened altogether. This is my camber arm. So, as you can tell, this is a very big difference. Um, the body is either shortened three or three and a half inches. I really don't remember, honestly, to be completely speaking, but three inches sounds right. Three inches sounds right. No nuts, thread shortened. Um, they do come to the middle. They meet in the middle, so they do max out and they touch and all that, so. But yes, this is my camber arm setup. Then you're like, damn, Marsh, three inches. I shorten mine one inch and my barrel touches my strut or my strut hits my knuckle. So how did you shorten yours three inches if mine hits that one inch? Let me explain. Wow, I really never painted those. <gasps> I'm an idiot. Strut relocation. It is pushed in this way, two inches, and it is dropped down this way, two inches. You can see my pretty little camera arm right there. Nice. Toe arms. This is another big question that I get asked. My toe arms are actually shorter than stock toe arms. So what I ended up doing was, and I pulled the whole wheel assembly inwards. What a lot of people do on these is they utilize these to get tilt. So they'll push them out a ton and they'll lessen their track, no, they'll widen their track width. So a lot of these cars be looking super, super wide. And then there's me who's just swallowing wheels because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to fit the wheel specs that I wanted without lessening my track width. When you start to go to negative 15 on these cars, even like 13, 14, depending on how you're getting your tilt, especially if you're getting it all from the camber arm and not the toe arms, the wheel will actually move forward and it'll hug the door. So what I had to do was shorten my caster arm an inch and a quarter. So normally when you do these, um, normally when you have to shorten the caster arm for like a negative 15 to 20 setup, you have to shorten it one inch. Mine is, is one and a quarter and I actually still have to go back a little. I got my hands on a set of SPCs for there and a set of SPCs for this arm. So that arm and this arm will be getting replaced and then everything back here will end up being fully adjustable and I'll be able to place the wheel wherever the hell I want. Look at that barrel clearance. Nice. My strut is as tall as it can go. Like this is my highest setting. So where it is on the floor is literally as high as I can go. Like if I wanna raise my car more, I don't know how I would do that. Another big question I get, is your gas tank? Is your gas tank still under the car? Yes, yes it is. It's right there. I found out that this quarter inch sheet metal fit perfectly within the grooves of my rear subframe. So I just welded it along here and welded it along the back here. I guess we're just gonna continue working from the back forward. So next is the uh, exhaust setup. Um, I actually did have a full exhaust going back to the back bumper, but I didn't do oval piping here where it runs through the tunnel and I dragged it out and it broke. Added in a Infinity G37 resonator, surprising. This is a Amazon resonator to a turndown that I made. And now to the front. The part where everyone gets confused. The part where people need help. 
The part where people hit people up like me to get their spindles and lower speed. So let's get right into it. As you can tell, I need to replace this subframe. It is done. It is done. And this subframe is raised. This subframe is raised a half an inch. So that means my motor is raised a half an inch. No, my motor is raised an inch and a half. So a half inch of that is coming from the subframe. And then another inch of that is coming from the actual motor mount that I raised. So inch and a half. And this is where it gets you. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Inch and a half extended lowers. Spindles. Spindles are tilted to negative 20. And then my upper control arm is maxed out. One inch shortened tie rod. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, we'll fix that, we'll fix that. One inch shortened tie rod, which I actually need to change because this one has recently exploded. So let's do quick summary. Spindles, shorn and tilted to negative 20. Extended lowers, inch and a half. Uppers, maxed out, one inch shortened tie rod. The rear, three inch shortened camber arm, toe arms shorter than stock, and a strut relocation. The coilover setup. On the front, I am on D2s with a swift four inch 50 case and a two inch helper spring, which is why my wheel dro droops so much. In the rear, we have a Rev9 strut with three two six five inch 50 Ks. I forgot one last part. Um, for the rear, when you run the uh, strut relocation, um, you can end up ordering the Low Life Project strut relocation top hat and bracket. I ended up just making my own bracket, but as far as the rear top hat, I'm running that. And I'm also running their front top hats as well. So I have front strut relocation and rear strut relocation as well. Bolt check, done. Since I finished this car in November of last year, so that was a year and two months ago, I have put 7,000 miles on this car. Every single part that you see on this car is the exact parts that were put on this car, besides the lowers, because I had to go from one inch lowers to inch and a half lowers. It's an amazing car. I drove it to Atlantic City twice, and if you're from Jersey and you know the roads to Atlantic City, or even the roads in Atlantic City, it's a mission. It's a mission. So we did that twice. Uh, we drove all through Florida. We drove. Tennessee obviously I I'd normally daily drive this car I haven't been daily driving it because my caliper is seized and I'm driving to Philly with the seized caliper two months I've been driving it with like that but I haven't driven the car in like two weeks so um yeah it'll be good so after the auto show y'all will begin a video on me doing brakes on the car wheel specs 18 by 10 18 by 10, six inch lip, six and a half inch lip, four inch barrel, three and a half inch barrel. We're riding on a 215.40 in the front and a 225.40 in the rear. And just like that, we're back on the floor. Oh, actually, I'm shipping out a set of spindles and lowers today. So don't forget, if you guys need spindles, lowers, tie rods, shortened camber, any camber needs you need. It doesn't even need to be camber needs, any fab needs, anything you need. Just hit my Instagram, and we'll get you right. Let us see if we can get a good sounding uh, exhaust clip of this car. Let me end this here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Tomorrow I'll be recording my wonderful, wonderful trip to Philadelphia. I will be there personally on the 14th, which is Sunday. And then the following week, I will either be there both days or one day. Um, if I do one day, it's gonna be Saturday since I did Sunday of this week, um, which would be the 20th. But I may do both days depending on how it's going, how the busy the show is and everything. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta hit you out with a motivational speech. Life can be a roller coaster. It has its ups and it has its downs. You don't get to choose when you come off the ride. So put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care because you have no control over the ups and downs. Live life, enjoy it, and spread love and prosperity to everybody because there's not a lot of that in today's world. Have a good day, guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.